He is your God. He's the one who will save you. And he's not. His arm is not too short that it cannot save. He's always at work. And he wants to bless you today. Make an agreement with God. And he's going to bless you. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you've done yesterday, today. You were fooled. You were fooled from the devil. My friends, don't shake your fists at the Creator. Don't shake your fists at the love of God. That's what Lucifer has people doing. That's what Lucifer wants. Lucifer kills, and he says, Jesus did it. Lucifer lies, he said, and he says, Jesus did it. <laughs> My friends, that's a lie. Jesus Christ doesn't lie. There is no lie in him. He was perfect. Perfect man, the most perfect human being in the history of creation. He said, I've done nothing in secret. I've spoken publicly. I've said nothing that has caused for defense, for to offense God. I've spoken in truth. He said, everything that I did was in truth. And it was public. It was open in public. And he was, he was, he was charged guilty. An innocent man, my friend. That's the word Lucifer. Lucifer had set up his hand in his court. Lucifer murdered him. And you know what? Ended up being the biggest mistake in San John. That's how delusional it really is. Because on that cross, my friends, Jesus Christ defeated sin and death for all eternities. The last enemy to be defeated is death. And when Lucifer, Satan, the devil murdered the Messiah, it sealed its fate. Dumbest thing it could have ever done. It needed to surrender. It needed to drop its weapons of war. It needed to pick up weapons of peace. It needed to raise up a white flag of surrender so it could be transformed to the image of God. How many times did God give Lucifer, Satan, the devil opportunities to repent? How many times? You cannot count how many times God gave Lucifer a chance to repent. It refused every time. It became worse and worse and worse and more emasculated and to the point that it killed the author of life. It killed the Creator symbolically. That's what it did. My friends, say no to death. Jesus Christ does not like death. He's a God of life. And He came to give life and life abundantly. And He wants to give you that life. It doesn't matter who you are. God wants to give you that life for something special in you that you have in yourself that God wants to have in His kingdom. He likes to care for you. He is the orchestrator of life. God will put spring in your step. God will make you like a newborn gazelle, hop, jumping up and down in the tall grass, discovering itself for the first time. God will renew you. God will give you strength and vigor and rejoicing and life and peace and true security, true prosperity, truth, my friends. We live in truth. Do not be deceived. Do not succumb to lies and falsehoods because those things bring death. And God does not like that. God is a God of truth. God is a God. He's a real God. A God of life. And my friends, lies bring people down into the grave. That's not where we want to be. God says if you believe in me, he says you will never die. You will never die if you believe in me. God says that I am the way and I am the one who will. Come, come to the cross. Make the agreement today, my friends, and God's going to bless you. God will bless you. That's what God is all about. That's what he wants to do. But my friends, he's not Peter Pan. We need to make that commitment. We need to say yes to the cross of Christ. We need to say yes to the love of God. We need to escape all the things that are in this world that are putting the world to death. We need not to take part in anything that the least in the We need to flee away from the things that are in destruction. We need to spread to the life of Christ, to the love and the peace and the joy and the life that is abundant in Christ. We need to run to the cross. We need to get on our knees, my friends. He says, Lo and behold me. I am He. I have come, and I've come to give you life. Grab hold of eternal life today, my friends. God will bless you. That's what He wants. That's what He does. God has, He says to turn, turn, turn from your ways, for why shall you die, all you inhabitants of the earth? I take no death in the death, no pleasure in the death of the wicked. 
He says, oh Babylon, oh Babylon, how long have I yearned to gather you together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings? But you are not willing. I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, help me, he who comes in the name of the Lord. Until you say, yes, I accept the love of Jesus Christ. I accept the cross of Jesus Christ in my life. And God will bless you, my friends. It doesn't matter who you are or what you've done. Don't let the devil steal your crown. Don't let the devil have you believe that you're worthless. Don't have the devil believe that God doesn't care about you. Don't let the devil have you believe that God just threw you away. Because my friends, God is God. And God is a God of life. And he wants you in his kingdom. He says it in his word. He wants you. And he wants you to make that agreement because of free will. You must make that agreement with him. You have to work it out with God, my friends. You have to get real with the Creator. He's, he is always involved. He made a covenant, my friends, and he's very involved in the covenant. We must step into the blessings of God. We must say yes to the love of God and shun murder, shun bloodshed, shun lying and division and, and falsehoods. Shun pride and arrogance. Shun deceitfulness. Shun it all. Get rid of it. Put down your weapons of war, my friends. Pick up weapons of peace. Peace, my friends, and joy is in the Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal one, my friends. The Messiah, the Christ, the one who came. The one who came and he made a new covenant. He changed the entire world, my friends. He changed everything. He made a new covenant. He breathed on his people and they received the Holy Spirit with his breath, my friends, the same very breath that created the very same God, my friends, the very same breath. He is God, my friends, and there is no other. And his glory, he says, he will not give it to no one else. Nobody gets the glory of God. That stays with God and thank God for that. Thank God. Is a, because he's a good God. children, but in understanding, equip me like wise adults, and look and analyze and compare, my friends. Lucifer saying the devil is a destroyer, it is a devil, it is a killer, it has infected and polluted the world, because men have given it place, and it's temporarily ruling over the world right now. It is going to complete destruction. God is going to decimate it. God's going to crush sin and death. You know, life is a test. Life is a trial. Life is a trial, my friends. Life is a test. God is saying, He's looking in your hearts right now. You know, God is looking in your heart right now. Do you realize that? No. Because God is keeping us honest. God is not messing around. God is God. He's sovereign. He's not going to take any bashing. He's not going to let anybody talk bad about him. He's going to put him in the fire of Lucifer. They belong to Lucifer. He says if you belong to Lucifer, you will transcend into that kingdom. But my friends, that's the fire of the hell. That's where hell is. But my friends, when we succumb, when we say yes to the love of God, then we belong to the kingdom of God. And we belong in that kingdom, and that's our transgression, uh, our transcendency, my friend. Is he God Jesus? Pardon me? Is he God Jesus? He is, he is God. Yeah, well, yeah, but like, I'm pretty sure Jesus, he can say bad things about him all day long. He's got big shoulders. He can handle it. It's all about forgiveness. Uh, yeah, he is, and we have to seek that forgiveness. Yeah, but I mean, like, I mean, you can say what you want about Jesus. Jesus Christ is, sends his messengers, my friends. Jesus Christ says that he wants the earth to produce on its own. Ever since the beginning of time, my friends, God has sent prophets. God has sent messengers. You know what God said? He says, I've sent you my messengers. I've sent you my prophets rising up early in the morning, continually warning you to turn from your ways. 
but you have stopped your ears. You have not listened to my voice. He says, I've continually called you, and you said no. You rejected my voice, and because you rejected my voice, my friends, you're going to end up walking with sin and death. And this is what you shall receive by my hand. He says, you shall lie down in torment. He says, then you will know that I am the Lord. If you will hearken, if you will hearken, if you will stop your ears, if you will reject me and harden your heart to meet God, God says that there comes a time when he has to harvest. It's time for harvest. And God does not continually sow forever. Isaiah 47. There's a time for harvest. And my friends, if we're not part of that harvest, then God says you're none of his. God is coming to harvest his first fruit. My friends, and that means that we go straight into heaven without experiencing death. God says that you will live forever. If you trust in God, you believe in God, you receive the Spirit of God, you will never die. You will live forever. And he sends his messengers, my friends, to give you the good news, the good tidings. You know, how precious are those the feet of them that bring good news. How refreshing to know that we can have eternal life, that we don't have to die, that we will never die when we receive the, the salvation of Jesus Christ. That's what the cross did, my friends. The cross opened up a portal. The cross opened up a way for us to escape death. The cross opened up a, a, a time where we are visited in our lives and that we accept the Messiah and we're blessed of God and we step into eternal life. We come out of the darkness. We come out of the realm of death and we step into eternal life through the spirit of the Creator who draws us, who blesses us, and leads us into repentance. He leads us into the knowledge of God. And He says that I will give you life and life of God. blessings of Christ. Father God, I pray that you put your spirit in this place. Bring your Holy Spirit in this territory. Break through the cloud of the King of Persia. Break through the cloud of the King of Greece, my, my God, and come and bring deliverance and healing in that place. Father, bless the people. Let them receive your Holy Spirit, Father. Let them make peace with you. All that to yourself, Father. Let them hear your words. Let them receive your words. And let them seek you, O God. Let them say yes to the love of Jesus Christ. Let them say yes to a transformation of life through the spirit of the cross of Jesus Christ. Amen, my brothers and sisters. Amen, my friends. Amen, 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 amen. To you, to life, and life abundantly. Rejoice, rejoice, and let no one steal your crown of rejoicing. Do not let the devil bring you down. Amen.